Hi guys, welcome back to The Home and Homestead. If you're new to the channel, I'm Rebecca, and if not, thanks for joining me again today. So today we're going to do a cook with me where I make a lunch or dinner using the crock pot. We're going to make some cheddar vegetable chowder. So if you like cheddar broccoli soup, you'll love this cheddar veggie chowder. And even better yet, it is easily put together in the crock pot or the instant pot on slow cooker mode. So let's get some ingredients together and do some crock pot cooking, making cheddar vegetable chowder. So the first thing we need to do is create our soup base. So if you're using your Instant Pot, you can do all of this in the Instant Pot. You can do this process on saute mode and then switch to the slow cooker function later while it is cooking. I am using my crock pot today, so I'll do the soup base on the stove top using a Dutch oven here. So on medium high heat, what we're going to do is create a roux. So we're doing equal parts fat and flour. So I have three tablespoons of butter that I'll heat up and get nice and melted, and then I'll add three tablespoons of flour. There we go, the butter is all melted, so now we will add the flour. We'll stir this together. We'll allow the flour to cook just for a few minutes until it gets a slightly golden color to it so that that raw flour flavor is cooked away. It'll have a slightly nutty aroma to it when it's ready. All right, now next we're going to add a half cup of onion that's been diced up. We'll stir this in with the roux that we created. And we'll saute these onions just till they're nice and soft and translucent. While they're cooking, I'll add a half teaspoon of salt. That'll help release some of the liquid from the onion as it cooks. And a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. We'll stir this all together. All right, so the onions have been cooking for just a few minutes here and they've become a little bit softer and translucent. That just helps to get that raw onion flavor out of the onion. It'll cook thoroughly in the crock pot, but this will just give a little bit more of a deep flavor for our onions. Now what we're going to do is add four cups of a vegetable broth. We'll just stir this together. Everything is nicely combined. This will be our soup base. So now let's head over to the crock pot and get the remainder of the ingredients put together. So here I have my slow cooker or a crock pot and I'm going to add the soup base that we just prepared into there. And now let's add our vegetables. So in this nice big bowl, I have combined one cup of corn, one cup of chopped carrots, two cups of diced potato, one cup of broccoli, and one cup of cauliflower. And I just cut things to the size that I would like for this vegetable chowder. And I'll add this to our slow cooker. You don't have to be too picky about amounts for this recipe. If you don't have cauliflower, just do the broccoli. If you have a whole can of corn, just use that. You don't have to be super strict on the amounts. If you have some leftover celery or something you want to throw in to add some more flavor or some vegetables from your garden you wanted to use up, you could certainly add that in as well. I like this combination. And this is a wonderful blend of vegetables and flavors for this vegetable chowder. And then finally, what we're going to do is add one teaspoon of a dried parsley. This is some parsley from our herb garden and this adds a nice freshness to our vegetable chowder. So now we'll just add the lid to our slow cooker. We will turn it on and this can cook 
for four to six hours. So about four hours on high to about six hours on low, depending on how your slow cooker, crock pot or instant pot on slow cook function cooks. So what I'm going to do is cook on low and I'll start for, at four hours, see how it's cooking and add time as necessary. So now I can just let the slow cooker do its thing and prepare our lunch or dinner. So we'll let this cook and we'll come back and see how it looks once it's finished. All right, so our cheddar vegetable chowder has been cooking in the slow cooker for about five and a half hours. So what I'm going to do is turn it off for now. We can add some more ingredients. So our vegetables are nice and tender and cooked through nicely. The broccoli and the cauliflower, I cut them into nice sized pieces so that when we enjoy this chowder later, we'll have a nice piece of vegetable whenever we have a spoonful of the chowder. So now what we're going to do is add some finishing ingredients to make this a nice creamy and thick chowder. So we will add one cup of heavy cream and one cup of half and half. And this will give it the chowder a nice creamy finish. Now since this is a cheddar vegetable chowder, I'm going to add one cup of shredded cheddar cheese. The cheese is gonna cook through and melt and make this a little bit thicker as well. If you like a really thick chowder, you could certainly add a cornstarch slurry, which is one tablespoon of cornstarch mixed with two to three tablespoons of water. Stir it up to make a nice smooth paste slurry and then add it in and then that will really thicken this up even more as it cooks. We'll also add one teaspoon of a dried thyme. If you have fresh thyme, you could certainly use that as well. So we'll mix this through here. And what we're going to do is cook this for another 30 minutes. So I'll add the cover back on, turn the slow cooker back on to low, And I'll set the timer, I'll set it for an hour because that way it could cook for a half hour and then keep it warm until we're ready to serve. So before it does this final cook down, let me give it a taste. That's good. This would be a time where you can add a little more salt and pepper to taste to get it to the right flavoring that you enjoy. So we'll let this cook and let the cream and the cheese help make this an even thicker and creamier chowder for us. Then I'll put this into a bowl and we can see how our cheddar vegetable chowder tastes. All right, here we have our cheddar vegetable chowder and I have it served with some rustic Italian bread. You can garnish on top with some more shredded cheddar cheese. We have a nice creamy and hearty vegetable chowder. The nice big pieces of vegetable. This is a really delicious chowder or a thick and creamy soup that you can prepare easily in the crock pot or slow cooker and served with a rustic bread. You have a delicious meal. This would be wonderful during the cool months or a cool evening or any time you need to use up some vegetables in the refrigerator or maybe some fresh veggies from the garden. Well, if you would like more inspiration on other soups or meals that you can easily prepare in the slow cooker or instant pot, you could check out my playlist on the topic. And if you'd like to accompany them with a fresh baked item, you can check out my baking playlist as well. Well, if you're new to the channel or haven't done so yet, I would really appreciate you subscribing. If you enjoyed this or any other video that you watch, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Well, I hope you're having a fantastic day. See you next time. Take care.